So yeah, I'm here in Paris. This is now in the hotel room. Uh, we booked this hotel and we didn't realize that um, it's like literally the Paralympics opening ceremony like this week, well, today actually. And if you can see down there, that's where it's gonna be. So yes, it's right outside the hotel room. So. Yeah, we might see some fireworks later on, um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I ordered a, an Hermes bag to the store here in Paris because it was on the website and I could order it. So I had it ordered to pick it up from the Faubourg saint Honoré store. So I'm gonna go there and have a look at it and I might go to some other stores, like obviously go to Chanel. Um, on the Rue, Rue Cambon and see what's there as well and obviously just you know enjoy Paris as well uh, it's just a short visit we're just gonna be here for like you know two days so yeah anyway let me go to uh, uh, Rue Saint Honoré now and go to the shops go to uh, Chanel and uh, yeah Hermes so yeah, I'm excited to check this bag out and obviously see the Faubourg Saint Honoré store, which I haven't been to for quite a few years. So it'll be good to see what they have on display. So yeah. So we are now going to Rue Cambon. This is over here. This is Rue Cambon. This is the Chanel's up here. Film windows. This bag. See what's in the windows. Not much here. There's me. Not much here. going okay this is uh yeah okay so we had a look in chanel where they had absolutely nothing that i wanted like i thought they'd have better stock than in london but they didn't which was a bit disappointing um so yeah but whatever uh so yeah now we're going to go to hermes which is down here which i'm very excited about uh, yeah, I'll show you it when we get there. Here's Hermes for Borg Saint Honoré. Let me get one over. What's in the window? It's a giant sandal. Some Kelly bags. What's down here? Oh, look at this big Awakawa. Oh. 
another one in this pink color. Same here. So in the loop and a mini Kelly. There's a giant Kelly by the looks of it. Lighting's not very good because it's so sunny today. Yeah, okay. Don't know if there's more windows back here. There is, there's more windows. Haven't been here for years. Look at that giant gold saddle. Okay, there's a little cargo Birkin. Some popcorn, I think that is. Okay, so I just got back from the Hermes for Borg Saint Honoré store and I thought I would show you what I got. I did get the bag that I had ordered on the website. Um, yeah, so I thought I would unbox it now because I might wear it for dinner. And yeah, I just thought let's unbox it while I'm in the hotel room. Uh, so yeah, this is the box that it came in uh, so yeah I did ask if they had any like appointment cancellations while I was in the store but obviously they didn't um, but I just wanted to pick this bag up anyway I think they wrapped it but this is the right way around the ribbon is like upside down but yes I so I ordered this on the website and had it sent to the store to pick up um, but yeah I really like this bag let me uh, show you what it looks like. So, yes. So, yeah, I just saw this pop up on the website the other day and I was like, oh my God, they have this and I really like this bag. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah. They didn't have it on the UK website, so I couldn't have it sent to the UK. So I thought I'd just go to Paris and pick it up. So yeah, this is the box bag. This is what it looks like inside the box. So yes, I'm really excited about this bag. So this is the dust bag. We'll do it up even though it's not done up at the moment. But I will do it up again. I don't know how you do it, I like that. So yes, so I can undo it. So yeah, this is the dust bag. Yeah, oh, this weird box. Kind of goes like a weird way around. So yes. So I will show you what I got. So this is the 2424 uh, size 35. You see? In Togo and Swift leather. So yeah, I really like it because I have a Birkin 40 in Togo. Um, but you know, I did want something a little bit smaller as well. And you know, like I was thinking maybe I could get a Birkin 35, but I still like the idea of getting a Birkin 35. But you know, if I have another Birkin, it's just gonna look like another Birkin, but this is a, a different style, um, as you can see. It's kind of like a Kelly kind of Birkin hybrid type thing. I mean, it's more like a Kelly really, but I really like it. It's like really like casual and maybe I'll just move closer a bit because you can't see it that well. So yeah, this is how it looks. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I might wear it this evening. It's got like, I guess it's kind of got a bit more veining than my, than my Birkin does. Uh, yeah. But it's not that obvious, like from far away, you can't really see. But yeah, I love the combination of the, um, let's go back a bit more. I love the combination of the Swift with the Togo. And then it's got this back pocket as well, which is really good. You can put your phone in there. And yeah, it's kind of like a bit like a Kelly, I guess, with this flap. 
but you know I'm not I'm not a fan of the Kelly personally I prefer like the her bag or this bag I just I'm just I'm not sure why I just find that the Kelly for me is is quite feminine and it's not really my style so yeah this just popped up on the website and I was like I'd seen this bag like on the website a few years ago and I thought oh that could be a good option but then recently I've been like thinking about getting like a Birkin 35 or I was also looking at the Roe Margot bag um, and I liked the kind of like you know I guess people say like that's like a a quiet luxury bag or you know it's more discreet and you know if you know you know type bag um, and I did try on the Ro Margot a couple times and it never really like spoke to me like an Hermes bag you know I felt like it just wasn't an Hermes bag and I kind of feel like it gives it gives an Hermes vibe but it's just not an Hermes bag, you know? So, so yes, but I feel like this is a really good, like, if you know, you know, kind of bag. It's, uh, you know, I think I have my Birkin 40 in Togo and, you know, I don't feel like super comfortable wearing it in London at the moment because like, there's a lot of crime in London and I just feel a little bit more cautious about wearing it. Whereas I feel like this, you know, you're getting the same like luxury, the same quality as a Birkin, but it's more discreet, it's more wearable, it's more casual. So I feel like it really has that sort of under the radar sort of luxury, quiet luxury vibe to it. Um, I know like, you know, quiet luxury is not really a thing, but I still think people are being more cautious and like discreet about their fashion, you know, um, or their luxury designer bags. Um, you know, and this isn't a cheap bag, like, you know, it's similar price to like a Birkin or a Kelly. Um, but I really, really like it. I think it's just different and I like that it's different. I looked at some other alternatives like you know they have like this Birkin Disorder bag which I quite like um, but I, I, I kind of feel like this has a similar vibe to that because it's just a sort of different version of like a Birkin or a Kelly than you're used to seeing. So yeah this comes in three different sizes and this is the size 35. Um, this one does not have the shoulder strap. Uh, there are two other sizes I think it's 21 and 29 centimeters and they both have like a shoulder strap but I don't like how the shoulder strap attaches to the bag because it sort of sits funny and it makes the bag sort of sit funny on the body whereas this doesn't have the shoulder strap so you don't have to worry about that at all um, so yeah it's really really nice really good quality it has this really large pocket inside can you see and then you've got the Hermes made in France tag and yeah it's just like it's not a big opening but yeah you can see so yeah I'm really happy with this bag um I feel like I this was kind of one of the things that I felt like I was missing I wanted a smaller bag like that was because I have the Birkin 40 you know, I have the Her Bag 39. Um, now I have this, the 24, 24, 35 centimeters. And then I have the Her Bag 31. So I've kind of got like descending sizes, you know? And this is good because like also the 40 is big, the Birkin 40 is very large. And like, you know, this is just easier to wear. So yeah, I'll show you like, this is how it looks on. I think the size is really really nice on me so yeah i'm really happy like the hardware is quite large but yeah i'm really happy with it you know I, there was a couple other bags i was looking at i wanted to possibly get like the large chanel 22 bag but i don't they're not making the large 22 bag anymore like they only make the what is now like the classic which is the medium and then they have the small and the mini 
but they don't make the large um so that's not even an option i did go and ask in rue cambon if they had it they said they didn't have it anywhere in europe i know they don't have it in london because i've asked for it there as well um that and i did go to a chanel store that's like directly opposite the hermes faubourg saint honore store not the one on rue cambon which is the one i went to originally and I tried on a Tweed Chanel 22 bag, which I really liked. I'd seen it online and I was contemplating it, um, but I didn't get it. It only came in the small size. I really like the Tweed. I really like the colors. I really like everything, the gold hardware, but I just wish that maybe it came in the medium. Uh, the sales associate did say it comes in the mini size as well. But it's a really cute bag, I really like it, but I just feel like this is a way more substantial bag. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, I think I might wear this to dinner. I'm going to dinner with my friend, I'm meeting my friend who lives in Paris. We're going to Hotel Cost for dinner. Uh, so, or, yeah, that'd be really nice. The menu looks amazing. They look have this incredible pavlova, which I'll hopefully show you. Uh, so yeah, I might wear this to dinner. So really happy with my new Hermes bag, 24-24, size 35, black, Togo, Swift leather. Love it, I just, yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And yeah, I got this on the website. So you can get really good bags on the website. You know, you know obviously they have the appointment system in um, Paris where if you can get an appointment, you can potentially get a bag. You know, obviously they have the wish list system in London or in the UK, and they, um, you know, you can put down a wish for either a Birkin or a Kelly on the wish list system in London. Um, but yeah, you can also get good bags on the website, and I've got two really good bags on the website, this one and my Her Bag, and I'm really, I love my Her Bag 39, and I love, I know I'm gonna love this one, the 2424. So yeah, check the website. You can get good bags on there. And then you don't have to deal with all the sort of like gatekeeping of like trying to get an appointment in Paris or, you know, trying to get your wish to be granted. And luckily, like I did manage to get a Birkin through the wish list system in London. Um, so it is possible to do it that way as well. Um, but you know, also, you know, you don't have to get a Birkin and a Kelly just because everybody wants that. You know, like, there are some other really nice bags from Hermes. Um, and yeah, I think this is one that is underrated, especially the 35 size. But I know people don't like bigger bags, but I just think this size is great. So, yeah, anyway, that's my new bag. That's what I basically came to Paris for, but obviously I came to see Paris as well. We're going to go out tomorrow a bit more around... Uh, maybe go to the Louis Vuitton exhibition. Um, so yeah, and walk around Paris a bit more than we did today because obviously we just got here and like went on some crazy shopping trip. So yeah, anyway, I think that the um, I think the Paralympic Games are going to start soon. Uh, let's see. Show you out the window. See what's happening. See what's happening now. Can you see? Oh, it's quite hard because there's a desk here. Don't really know. Maybe I'll open the door a bit. Might be able to hear. Can you hear it? No, you can't really hear anything. But yeah, it's going on over there, so maybe there'll be fireworks. I'm hoping there's going to be fireworks later. That would be good. So, yeah. So yeah, gonna go to dinner soon, I think. It's just really, really hot today. It's like 30 degrees. It's boiling, so yeah. You want some fries? Uh, I love it. Look at it. You've literally, he was literally uh, on the, the Euro star. star I've got to have this paddle like that. <laughs> look at it. Oh my god. But you've even convinced me to have it. I, I know. Like I know, but look at it. <laughs> Stopped now. Still going on the TV though. I think it's a bit delayed. Stopped. Oh, 
Paris s'est joigné au C, ultime acte de cette cérémonie d'ouverture des Jeux Paralympiques de Paris 2024. Born to be alive, né pour euh, voilà, être vivant. So we are in, I think it's called Tuileries, and they've got the little, I don't know, the flame thing from the opening ceremony last night. And then here is the Place de Concord where it was. So yeah. Okay, so we are just going to walk along to the Louis Vuitton Dream Exhibition, LV Dream, which looks really good. Just going to walk there, I think, and see what it's like. I might have to get the tickets. Mm. So we are just in the restaurant at this Louis Vuitton Dream exhibition. This is the menu. Look at this. Really cute. The decor is really cute. This is the menu. I might get the prawn avocado. Rich might get eggs. You were saying, weren't you? Yeah, it's quite cute though. Oh, I, I might get the chocolate eclair as well. Oh. Yeah. Well, this looks really nice. Yeah, it's nice in here. And I'm wearing my new bag, which I'm loving. So, yeah. This is the napkin with the little Vivian charm thing on it. And a monogram plate. Thank you. And here's the, what's this? Oh. Nice. Cute. We've got this little bread tray. This little thing. This is the bread and look at the little butter. It's very cute. Is it nice? So this is the crab. No, it's not crab. Prawn thing. And then you've got some eggs. The little donkey thing. Yeah, maybe I have some more of the little sauce. I didn't really actually try it. Might taste better with that. This is my chocolate eclair. What did you get? Like a raspberry thing. Quite cute. Mm. Should be, it's ten times gross. I know. I think this is this shopping place. You have to go in there afterwards, maybe. At the LV Dream exhibition. This is where it starts, I guess. I'll have a look round.
so we're here now at the Hermes Sevre store. Is this where you go in? Is there another entrance over here? I don't know. Yeah, we'll have a look in here. I think this is all the Petit H stuff. 